Hey Pisces, how's it going? Welcome to your Who's Coming In reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome in. I'm so grateful you are here. Please remember this is a general reading, so only take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, please know that I could be picking up on the energy of the person that is coming towards you. Also, check out your other placements for a full guided message for you. Also, I'm asking to please like and subscribe to my channel to support my channel and I can continue to process and post videos for you. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. I am going to take that since it came out. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards here and I will clarify. Spirit, thank you for sending those here to get messages as well as I'm grateful that they are here to assist in any way I can. Please provide me guidance for Pisces as what do they need to know for the person coming in. What do they know, need to know for the person coming in and love for their highest good, please. All right, so we have the Page of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the... Six of Cups, and we have the Empress. All right. So now I am going to clarify before I start with this one. Spirit, please provide me guidance for the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here for Pisces? Why is the Page of Cups here for Pisces, Spirit? Why is the Page of Cups here for Pisces, please. Why is the Page of Cups here? We have Lovers. And we have the Nine of Cups. Well, there's... Pisces, are you dealing with another water sign, maybe? I'm feeling it's... With the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, the Page of Cups. This is going to be excitement here. Now remember that this person could be a little emotionally immature or could just be young or young at heart here, but you know, lovers is a strong soul connection here. And the nine of cups is a wish fulfillment. All right, let's see what the 10, you know, the lovers also talks about a choice. So you may have options here. Let's keep going. Spirit, please tell me why the Ten of Wands is here. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here for Pisces, please? We have the Knight of Cups. And we have the Devil. You know, with the Ten of Wands, it, it talks about a completion, you know, putting up burdens, you know, you've, car you've been through a lot of shit here. I feel like you've put up in the past with a lot of toxic behavior. Let me keep going because this can go a couple of ways. Let's see. Spirit, please tell me why the Six of Cups is here. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups here for Pisces? Why is the Six of Cups here for Pisces? Knight of Swords the, and Temperance. Knight of Swords is really quick energy. Have you been waiting on somebody from the past to come back and you've been patiently awaiting?
I definitely feel like you are ready for love. You are ready for someone to come in with the emotional side. With the emotional side. Someone is coming in fast to move towards you, Pisces. It could be someone from your childhood. Maybe somebody you went to school with. It could be a past lover. You've been patient. You've been patient. Let me get, I'm going to probably pull some more cards for you guys to make sure I'm going on the right path here. Because there's different, there's definitely several different energies here. I think you're tired of putting up with people who put on this persona of like coming across like they're emotionally available and they're not. Like you're tired of dealing with people like that. Spirit, please tell me why the Empress is here. Tell me why the Empress is here, Spirit. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here, Spirit? Two of Cups. The Moon. I, I don't think you can see this coming. Has somebody been on your mind from when you were younger? And I'm saying that maybe when you were kids, because we have a page here. We have the Six of Cups here, which talks about, you know, can reference childhood, nostalgia, someone from your past. It could be a past life soulmate, honestly, that's coming in. Patience has been needed here because somebody has needed to grow. I feel like both of you have needed to grow in some way, shape, or form before you could come together. This is going to be a heavy soulmate connection here. You have the lovers. You have the two of cups. You have the nine of cups, which is a wish fulfillment. And you're no longer going to put up with any shit either because that's what you're tired of. You're tired of these, these people coming in. And it's like not ready to settle down or they, they, they talk a good game. It's also about putting away your fears with love. Some of you have gone through such a bad relationship or bad past experiences with one or multiple people, and it's time to put those fears away. Okay, it's time to put those fears away when it comes to love, because someone is coming in here, and they're coming in quick. And it's required patience, but it's divinely guided here with the temperance. And the Empress is someone who sits back. This, this person is coming to you. Again, flip the rules because you could be going towards someone yourself. Don't get caught up in any illusions and up in your head, okay? You don't see this at all. Like, I keep hearing blindsided. Like, you're going to be blindsided. Yeah. Let me get some advice. Let me pull a card and advice for you, for Pisces. I just want to... Spirit, please provide me advice. Please provide me advice. I'm also getting here this... You know, your past could have been a lot of someone emotionally out of balance here. And it was more about sex and the person wasn't emotionally available. And you're moving away from that. You're tired of dealing with people like that. Spirit, please give me a card for advice for Pisces, please. Please give me a card of advice for Pisces, please. Please give me a card of advice for Pisces, please. The Magician. Yeah, you manifested this. Which is why patience was needed. You have all the tools. You've manifested this and it's taken a while. And you're like, when is it going to come? Because I see it nowhere in sight. It's coming. It's coming quick. Yeah. 
okay when i split the deck i got the wheel and the fool divine timing the wheel is starting to move the fool is a new beginning you will have your ten of pentacles you will have your ten of pentacles the wheel is with divine timing See, you are stuck in this energy here, 10 and 10. You may be having synchronicities of 10, 10. Look up that angel number, 10, 10. Okay, but you have the Wheel of Fortune. The Fool talks about taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, not knowing what the future holds, but you've manifested this because your 10 of Pentacles is coming. Your Ten of Pentacles is coming. You will have abundance from happiness, love, not just material. This is strongly, this, this couldn't speak louder to me that this has been divinely guided. Because I have three, I have three major arcanas here. All right, Pisces. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if it did and you enjoyed it and it resonated or just if you could like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate any support. Remember to keep standing in your power and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.